Okay, uh, hello, welcome to the 10k Q&A, or I suppose what's probably closer to the 15k Q&A at this point. Obviously immediately, thank you guys so much, the, it is a milestone that I didn't expect to reach so quickly, uh, if ever. So again, thank you so much, especially for all the support I've seen uh, on recent videos. It's It's been a wild ride uh, the past couple months, so again, thank you so much for all your support. For those of you that have been with the channel before I started doing like custom Marvel Legends, this is my old room. Uh, I don't tend to live here anymore. Uh, this is the Channel Islands, this is Jersey, this is where I grew up. I, I, I don't know if I've mentioned it in videos much, but I tend to be in the UK now. Um, I'm only really here to kind of do a mass clear out because, again, childhood room. Uh, so I've not got a whole lot of time. Uh, I'm not really meant to be recording a video, I already recorded this and I've had to re-record it. So I'm going to have to try and speed through these questions. There's quite a few, there's 41 comments on the Q&A post, so I'll get through them as best I can and hopefully I can answer them uh, to the best of my ability as well. Now I would like to apologise because I look in absolute state. Uh, I am very tired, I've got a lot of work to do uh, and not very much time to get through this like I've said. Um, so yeah, I look tired, my hair is a mess. but. I'm just going to get through this as best I can, and apologies that I don't look as nice as I possibly could have done. I will also be wearing glasses because I'm too tired to be able to see uh, the questions properly otherwise. I also do just want to take a second. Um, this laptop is what has kind of made the customs doable recently, and it's thanks to my dad that I've been able to get this. And if you know, um, if you read the comments on my videos, there's a good chance you've seen my dad's comments. He's quite a big supporter of the channel so thank you dad. A lot of a lot of what I do on this channel uh, wouldn't really be possible now without the support of my dad apart from obviously the moral support. Uh, yeah huge thank you to him for being able to make the channel what it is because my last laptop could not handle some of the software that I'm using to do the customs that I do. So again a massive thanks to him as well. The first question I've got is would you consider or are you planning on making more jointed feet for other Marvel Legends bodies that aren't Spider-Man? Um, I am. I have a couple ideas, plans that I want to do. I've had a good few suggestions. The, I think it's actually in this comment, the, yeah, the superposable Black Widow is one that I do want to do. I just don't have the time to sit down and do a new model at the moment. Same with the Nightcrawler, which I think is here as well. So yeah, I would love to be able to have time to do all of these, unfortunately, with work, Etsy, YouTube. I just don't so I do plan on getting around to a fair few of these at some point but for the time being um, the superposable Black Widow is probably the most realistic one that I'll be doing but I currently don't have the body mold so I can't really do it at the moment but yes I do plan on doing others that aren't Spider-Man. This is a very common question I get is when will the Iron Arms release um, either obviously as a 3D print or as a file. It's Friday at the moment I would like to have them posted on CG Trader by the end of the day but I can't make any promises because like I said I've got a lot to do today reason the 3D prints aren't available, I've mentioned this before, the resin that I have isn't strong enough to support the ball joints that I designed. Um, and it's not my design that is the problem, as much as I kind of wish it was because that would be an easier fix. Resin isn't, or 3D printing resin, just normal stuff, isn't designed for joints, it's too fragile or uh, it powders when you move it. So it's just, I don't want to sell something that's going to need so much maintenance or isn't going to last very long. Uh, I know how I need to make it, I know that it's going to cost me £120 in resin, so for the moment that's out of the question, but I will be posting the files on CG Trader very soon. Uh, what was the most frustrating part about making these customs? Dealing with YouTube, really, <laughs> for the most part. The fact that I can't really take a week out without the algorithm uh, dropping my channel altogether. Like, even if I miss an upload by a couple of hours sometimes, YouTube won't push the video out. Um, if the thumbnail looks different, it also doesn't push the video out. Um, I can put Spider-Man in the title, and unless he's in the thumbnail, like the Doc Ock and the Green Goblin videos didn't do very well, even though they were highly requested, but because there was no red and blue man in a spandex suit in the thumbnail, the algorithms didn't pick it up. Um, so that's probably one of the most frustrating part, is dealing with YouTube's algorithm, because it just means that my hard work doesn't always get uh, pushed out and even viewers that are looking for it don't always find it. I've had a fair few of you guys tell me that 
despite being subscribed and having notifications enabled, YouTube still hasn't told you that I've uploaded, so that's probably the most frustrating part about doing these custom figures. The actual act of doing them themselves is probably dealing with unforeseen issues, like uh, the body for Diamond Head being hollow, or being as hollow as it was, that was a hassle. Uh, accidentally melting it, bits of, literally just things that like you don't foresee happening um, and having deadlines for them. Those are the most frustrating parts. What are some of your inspirations for starting customizing? Also any dream custom or custom you really want to get into? Uh, my inspiration was weirdly just not liking the figures I had. Um, like getting Marvel Legends and seeing a lack of detail, seeing a lack of articulation. That was probably the inspiration for doing customs, was just knowing that I could make them a little bit better, like in my personal collection. Uh, so that's probably where the inspiration came for doing customs. In regards to a dream custom, I have a couple planned. I'm not gonna share with you what they are because I think the shock value of them is probably gonna be better than telling you how they are gonna be made and what they are. So I do have dream customs and I'm not gonna share them with you just yet. Are you going to more create or customise figures that are not superhero related? For example, Godzilla, Dead Space, etc. I mean, probably. The term superhero is quite broad. Like, I have some plans for Steven Universe figures. Um, I don't know whether you'd consider those superheroes or not. I, Godzilla and Dead Space, as much as I love the Dead Space design, that's one of like my favourite designs of video game characters. It's not really my thing, and I think one of my pet peeves is seeing people on the internet take a character that's very popular at the time, have like know nothing about it, and just use it to kind of gain uh, get clout from, really. So yeah, I don't think I'm really going to be delving too much into Godzilla or Dead Space. There might be some other characters that I get into. And from what I've seen with YouTube, people didn't really like the Doomslayer. Um, the people that did see it really liked it, but it didn't gain much traction. So I don't think Godzilla or Dead Space would do very well on my channel, and I'm not personally that interested in them, so I probably won't be. How much time would it take to customise one figure? I normally allocate one week for myself, and I'm normally able to get it done within that week. Some take a couple weeks. The recent Grey Matter custom I got done in under two days. I mean, I spread it across two days, but I got the entire 3D file designed, finished and printed within six hours and the painting and the assembling uh, I think took maybe another four hours max so realistically I can get some customs done in ten others will take multiple days, others will take multiple weeks it does entirely depend but for the most part my rule of thumb is about a week um, to make a, an, a decent custom um, that's of an okay quality Would you ever do a collection video showing off your displays or all your collections? My collection and just displays in general aren't that great at the moment. They have displays, they're just not that great. My current display isn't as impressive as they have been in the past. Are you going to make all the Ben 10 Aliens uh, from the Classic series? Yes, I will be. Will you start to customise Lego? I have customised Lego in the past, not on camera, not as like a YouTube thing. I have won contests for... Well, not won contests, I think I came second in one of the contests. Um, but I have done well in contests for custom Lego, and most of it was Iron Man related uh, or Marvel. So I have done it at some point. Maybe I'll show it if I can find it. It's probably somewhere uh, in this room. I just don't know where. What franchises would you like to see figures from or more of? I think a lot of cartoons could do with some de like decent figures. Again, like Ben 10, um, Steven Universe again would be a good one. I think. Adventure Time would probably do quite well. For me personally, I'm not that interested in it, but I can imagine a lot of people would want those. I think a lot of Cartoon Network series would do really well as um, action figures, and it's a shame that either uh, SHF, Mafex, or even Hasbro haven't picked up the licensing for any of those. What in your experience is the best way to deter paint rub for customs, or is it an unfortunate inevitability? Sanding the joints and then using a nice like clear either gloss or matte lacquer tends to do quite well, giving it 24 hours to dry, uh, which I don't tend to do, but you absolutely should. I mean, over time you will eventually just wear it back down because just that's the nature of constant use. But yeah, you can absolutely deter paint rub with sanding the joints and giving everything a good matte lacquer.
Will you ever make a Chromestone or Feedback custom? Um, Chromestone is one of my favourite characters from the like following series, so I probably will. Uh, feedback, I think I might do... He's a difficult one to place in where I'm going to do him, because while he's technically an Omniverse character, they changed the canon to make it so he was part of the classic series Aliens, so... To cut a long story short, yes. Are you going to face reveal? No. How exactly do you make feet with toe joints? As a 3D designer, it's not a very easy thing to explain. Like, I find it quite an easy thing to do. Like, it's just I have the design for the feet that I did, and I know how to make working hinges on three printed parts, so I just combined that knowledge. I don't really know how else to explain it other than design a working hinge, design a foot, and then find a good way to merge your two designs. That's a surprisingly difficult question to answer because I think everyone's brain works differently and I just can see how something needs to be made. There's another question here that's about what other franchise is, which I think I've kind of answered with just saying Cartoon Network would probably be a good one. But also, would you think of making DC characters? DC isn't really my thing, and again, I don't like the idea of taking uh, a brand or franchise that I don't know much about and trying to do it just because of popularity, although there are a good few characters I could do with base figures that I have lying in my box of fodder. What made you get into collecting? Uh, ben 10. <laughs> As a child, I had practically every single bit of plastic that was Ben 10 branded. Um, you could have painted the Ben 10 logo onto a bag of gravel and I would have wanted it. I suppose that's where the plastic addiction started. After you're done with Ben 10 customs, are you going all the way to Omniverse or are you going to do other shows? With Omniverse, I think the only one I'll really do is feedback. I'm not too familiar with other characters except for Atomics. I absolutely love uh, Atomics' design, so I might do that one as well. What vids do you plan on doing in the future? This is a very open question. Probably stop motions. I'd love to get back into doing stop motions. I used to do them quite a lot. Uh, you can see some of them on the channel still. In terms of stop motions, I can do them a lot better than I used to as well, like my um, use of softwares and different skills, I can make some very smooth stop motions now. I had to for uh, one of my second year projects at university. So yeah, hopefully some stop motions in the near future. What's the hardest custom you've ever made? I'm a Ted. How did you get started on customising figs? Probably Lego, I think. Some of those customs were absolutely awful. They were did with a nail varnish. Uh, they were absolutely awful. Some of them were disgusting. Um, but that's probably how I got started. When you started making your stick butt off the grid videos, which is how this commenter found me, uh, did you ever think you'd reach 10k? Also, will you return stick pods? I mean, every person that makes a YouTube channel, I think, hopes they'll hit some good milestones. But with the channel growth at the time, I wasn't expecting it at all especially looking back at how slow the channel was growing at the time of Stickbots, so uh, no, I didn't think I'd hit 10k, uh, especially as quick as I have with doing the Marvel Legends and Ben 10 stuff. Will I return to Stickbots? Probably not. Uh, maybe for a 20k video I'll do some Stickbot videos uh, and some just various Stickbot customs, but they're very expensive now. They used to be like a couple pounds. I found them in the shops recently and they were £6 per stick bolt, which for some plastic, some suction cups and some hair tie elastic, I don't think they're really worth £6. Well, don't get me wrong, Marvel Legends are overpriced, but I think stick bolts are just as bad. What do you think about selling the Ben 10 customs on Etsy? I sell the 3D printed kits, they're currently out of stock, I need to make some more to actually put back in the shop. Um, as for selling the entire customs, probably not. Those would be commissions. Uh, I'm not going to be like stockpiling those because, like I said, some of them take a week to do. And it's considering Etsy and YouTube is how I pay my rent and bills at the moment. It wouldn't be a very smart idea for me to try and make these customs, then just hope that someone would buy them. Uh, I would lose a lot of money in time, so probably not. Will you make scale accurate Ben 10 figures to the original line? And also, probably not, because those figures were quite small. 
they didn't scale with each other very well from what I remember either. Um, I unfortunately don't have any of them anymore. Uh, but no, I highly doubt it. I think they'd just be too small of a scale to really warrant doing anything with. I can't imagine there'd be much interest in it. I think the 112th scale stuff is probably where most people uh, have their interests. Um, maybe at some point I'll get some of the old figures and if they're damaged and I can find them cheap on eBay then I'll add more articulation to them and just work with the original sculpt stuff, but I think probably not. From doing stick by animations to now doing fully fledged custom figures, what's the next big thing you think you're going to ever do in the future? Again, probably cosplays and stop motions, I think. Aside from that, just some more difficult customs. I think custom figures is probably the way this channel's going. So that and stop motions with the occasional cosplay is what my plan is uh, for the channel's future. If ever, how do you handle burnout and motivation? This is a really good one because I've been burnt out for the past month. Um, ooh. I think quite luckily I've got a good set of friends and a decent support system, which obviously is fantastic for your mental health. Uh, surrounding yourself with people that understand you, understand your interests, understand what you're going through, that's a very important thing to deal with. Unfortunately, I do spend a lot of time on my phone. I really wish I could say I didn't, but as I'm sure you can imagine with YouTube and having YouTube Studio on my phone, uh, I do spend a lot of time on it. I spend a lot more time than I really want to, and I'm currently working on spending less time online. The internet is such a hateful place. Like, going through Instagram and then seeing comments, it's just the other day there was a young girl dealing with um, an eating disorder and she'd gone through this whole thing of posting a video showing other people what it's like to go through and when I say young girl I mean she's like six and there were adult men just berating her in the comments for her eating disorder which is just disgusting it's not very often that I comment on just random Instagram posts not even very common that I really like other posts but I did on this occasion comment just to make sure that I was leaving a positive comment just to try and help, I don't know, just somewhat combat the negativity that was in that comment section because it was it was awful and I think for a six year old girl to possibly be seeing all those comments and especially for the mum to be seeing that about her little girl, yeah I think it's very easy to get burnt out and run out of motivation on, uh, on the internet with how angry this place is. But the best advice I can give is, aside from dealing with burnout and motivation by surrounding yourself with people that are supportive and understand you properly. Um, you have to be in a good headspace to almost remind yourself that sometimes things do need to be done, you do have to just push through. Um, I will give myself a day off if I'm feeling really burnt out and maybe on that day off I'll set myself one task and if I can get it done then that day is a win. If I can't then it's not a loss either because I've given myself that day off as burnout. I do want to take this opportunity to say if you're scrolling through the internet, scrolling through the internet makes me sound really old. Um, if you're scrolling through Instagram or YouTube or TikTok and you come across a video that's getting such unnecessary hate, do just take the time to leave a positive comment. Um, as someone who is, I suppose now, technically a content creator, it does mean a lot seeing positive comments, especially when you've had so many negative ones. You'd be surprised just how much of a difference one positive comment can make uh, in a sea of negative ones. So do be the positive comment in a section full of hate. It's It doesn't take much time out of your day and I can guarantee you, you're gonna make the person on the receiving end feel a lot better. It's a very cliche term, be the change you want to see in the world. And while I do agree with that to an extent, I think an easier way to deal with it online is be the positivity you want to see on the internet. Um, yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot to just leave a positive comment or to just not comment anything negative to begin with. I think if you're someone that goes around commenting such negative things on other people's posts, you really want to take a long, hard look in the mirror. Uh, if you're that full of hate for strangers online, what are you doing with your life? It's really not that difficult just to scroll past if you're not enjoying it, to ignore it if it's not something you enjoy. If you're going to take anything away from this video, please take that away. Anyway, back on uh, back on track with the more positive stuff. Uh, would you ever work on more expensive figures like SHF or Mafex? I have done some work with SHF and Mafex before. 
Um, normally it's little mods or I'm using bootlegs because I do worry about risking such a high-end figure. Um, if I had the money then absolutely, at the moment, I am not in a position to be buying Mafex or SHF to use for customs because they're expensive and having like £80 spare isn't something that happens very often. If I could, I absolutely would and I do hope to in the future. How and where do you get inspiration? Um, normally online, which is again really difficult because I am trying to spend less time online. I think it was Toys with Attitude on Instagram that posted a custom heat blast, which made me want to give it a go, with changing obviously the forearms and a couple of little designs here and there. Um, and then I really liked how that came out, so it inspired me to do the rest. So I think while it does come from seeing other people's work, it also comes from starting my own work and getting inspired by how something turns out sometimes. Will You Make More Ben 10 is a custom I've had, along with um, Make Custom Stink Fly and Are You Going to Do Grey Matter and Will You Be Making Accelerate? Uh, two of those questions are already answered because the video is now live. Uh, yes, I will be doing Stink Fly and yes, I will be doing More Ben 10. I have a few big plans for the coming characters. Now the final question that's actually here is can you make a Randy Cutingham figure? I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't, in fact... Let's do a little live search, shall we? Is that meant to be Randy Cunningham? Ninth grade ninja? I remember seeing this show when I was younger. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of it. I think the design is really odd. I don't like the practically just stick figure with a red scarf. Probably not. I think I really want to push myself with what customs I can actually do. And this seems like a very just standard uh, stick figure ninja, really. Um, if this is who you meant, then probably not. It's not really my thing. Why is there rule 34? Just from searching Randy Cunningham, there's weird sexualized stuff. That's disgusting. Uh, no, <laughs> apart from I don't want to be looking at those images anymore. Um, I don't think that's really my thing. I don't think I want to be... I love a good cartoon character. I also love a good challenge, and I don't think he would be much of a challenge to do. But that is all the questions. That's everything done. So... Thank you guys very much for giving all the questions. There was a lot more to go through than I thought there would be. I thought I'd maybe have 10 questions to get through. I did not expect this video to be half an hour long. Uh, I kind of thought this would be something I could get answered in maybe 10 minutes. There were some very, very good questions there. Uh, there are a few that I've skipped over, so if I haven't read your comment, it's quite possibly either because it wasn't a question or because I've already answered it. and. Again, with the video already being half an hour, I don't want to be repeating myself because uh, well, I'm sure this won't be half an hour for you guys, I've got to do a lot of editing and it is currently uh, 2 o'clock on a Friday, which means I have 4 hours to get all the stuff that I was meant to get done today finished as well as edit this video and get it posted with some sort of thumbnail, which I have no idea what I'm going to do as a thumbnail yet. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much for getting me to this point. The the fact that we hit 10k as quickly as we did is insane, the fact that we've almost hit 15k already and it's currently looking like we'll hit 20k uh, at some point during May. Uh, so yeah, again, massive thank you to all you guys and for the comments uh, and the questions and I'll see you guys next week for Forearms Custom, uh, which has been highly requested so hopefully I can do it justice. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.